Thank you. First of all, I would like to join hands with other um, speakers to thank His Excellency Philip Francis and the organizing committee for organizing this uh, event and to express my appreciation to Honorable Susanna Medina, the president of the IAWJ, International Women Judges Association, for facilitating me to join in this very important summit. Um, I will speak and uh, I'll base an overview of the problem of trafficking in persons in Tanzania and um, I'll just give you what kind of measures have been taken and uh, the way forward, what do we need to do more. Trafficking in person is a serious and grave violation of human rights which affects individuals, families, communities, and societies at large, and the world sees as another advanced form of slavery. Tanzania has not been excluded from this tragic for, its, for it has been termed as an origin, transit, and destination of victims of human trafficking, and children and women and men have fallen to victims. Tanzania is said to be the origin of human trafficking in the different form, mainly from the rural areas to the urban areas and from the urban to rural and or to borders for domestic jobs, prostitution, begging and to servitude while others including working in plantation, mining and fishing industry ending up with low wages or without being paid. This being the case within our country. And for, the, for those being trafficked outside the country to main Middle East, especially Oman, Yemen, Dubai, and India are being exposed to forced labor, domestic jobs, and prostitution in an exploitative way, while boys and men subjected to drug trafficking, weapon smuggling, debt bondage, terrorism, and other criminal gangs. To an extent, Tanzania also has been a transit area where victims from other countries come and make their arrangement to other destinations. A good number of victims have been noted from neighboring countries such as Somalia, Ethiopia, Burundi, West Africa, and other, others are from Pakistan, India, Nepal, Syria, and Bangladesh. Those from Pakistan, India, Nepal, Syria, and Bangladesh are in transit to Europe, and Australia. Also, Tanzania has been um, a, dis a, a country of destination. This is another form of trafficking in person in Tanzania, whereby victims of human trafficking are found subjected to forced labor, prostitution, begging, culture, dancing, selling, or selling of coffee and granules, and other fall victims as a result of debt bond bondage. This group involves victims from Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Burundi, Kenya, and Malawi. Trafficking in person has always aimed and at exploitation, and in these all three categories, has been criminally organized and conducted in a secret way, making difficult for law enforcers to combat this tragic, and therefore training on how to combat trafficking in person is highly needed to law enforcers, public prosecutors, social workers, and the public as well. Generally, poverty has been a push, pushing factor and poor knowledge of human trafficking adding to it as well as co corruption to response leaders, responsible leaders. The desire for high standard of living and the perspection uh, of uh, that good life found in urban area, Europe and Asia country are as well contributing factor. Other factors which facilitate vulnerability of, um, facilitate the vulnerability of family conflict, political instability, and oppressive culture in different societies in the country. What are the response? Following the si signing of the pa Paloma Convention, Convention in Italy in 2000, 
The international community demonstrated the will to respond to the global changes, challenges on transnational organized crime, which was followed by the protocol to prevent, suppress, and punish trafficking in person, especially women and children. So Tanzania, being among the international community, responded to it and ratified this protocol. Tanzania has taken this step, bearing in mind to prevent and combat trafficking in person, protecting and assisting victims of trafficking with full respect of human rights and to strengthen cooperation with other stakeholders to reach the, the goal of the protocol. There are some measures which have been taken by the government since when it signed the protocol, which includes enacting legislation and putting in place policy measures. In the area of registration and of legislation and policy measures, the government has done the following. Enacted the Anti-Trafficking Person Act number no. 6 of 2008, developed anti-trafficking in person regulation, the anti-trafficking in person prevention, protection and treatment regulation, the anti-trafficking in person center for protection and assistance to victim of trafficking in person regulation of 2015. Also has developed the national action plan of 2011 to 2014 and 2015 to 2017. Also have standard operation procedure for identification and assistance to victim of T uh, for trans, uh, trafficking in person and standard operating procedure for protecting, assisting, and referring trafficking children. Also has established directorate of service provider for victims of human trafficking. Also we have Manu for Civil Service Oga Organization of the Tanzania Anti-Trafficking in Person Act in, uh, after the Tanzanian, uh, Tanzania Anti-Trafficking in Person Act uh, when it, it, it was put in place. We also developed the training manual for the law enforcers. We have developed the guidelines for safe family unification for children victims of trafficking. We, are, we are also do investigation and prosecution. In collaboration with police, immigration, and deep DPP's office, that's the Director of Public Prosecution, some of the information relating to trafficking in person has been invest investigated and the accused trafficker prosecuted. For instance, in 2015 and 2017, there were 15 trafficking in person cases which were prosecuted. Also, we have victim support and witness protection mechanism in place and um, we have prevention and awareness raising um, system where the government in collaboration of the IMO, which is the technical advisor, has been giving awareness raising campaign to different groups, including law enforcers, agencies, and other stakeholders. Also, we have uh, um, another measure of skill enhancement capacity and development. The government in collaboration with international organization and other NGOs in the place has been conducting training and workshop to various uh, trans uh, traffic in person stakeholders and law enforcers agents. We have established a um, establishment of labor exchange, which is under the Ministry of Labor, Youth and Disabled, which has been established purposely to make sure that they monitor and control movement of um, of mo movement of those who come in in from rural areas to urban for seeking for work. And then they set minimum wage and cluster their own group with their own salary scale. We also have universal primary education, which was made deliberate to make sure that the, those who are eligible to go to school are, are, are sent to school. Also, we have coordination uh, with other regional cooperation. The status now, the Tanzania, since the enactment of the act, we have made a lot of effort to make sure that we reduce this uh, problem, and now we are in tier two. The way forward, we have identified that there are some gaps or lacuna in our act, and then we have um, some 
um, suggestions that the amendment of the law should be done to fix or to, to make sure that we, 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 we reform the law and uh, take into consideration those, uh, those, those gaps which uh, have been realized. Also, we have um, database which have been created with the, with the help of United Nations Office on Drug and uh, Crimes, so that to make sure that we have a, a database to show us the extent of crime and uh, wha how should we tackle it further. Also, we have campaign in uh, uh, raising awareness to st all stakeholders and um, uh, law enforcers on the other and law enforcers and other um, judicial officers who are sitting to, to conduct and determine cases relating to drug trafficking. Um, we conduct training to judicial officers, as I said, and this has been done purposely to make sure that they are aware on this, the extent of this problem and the law governing the, the, the drug, the, the, the trafficking human in human in person in Tanzania. We also use operating procedures, as I said, to make sure that uh, trafficking, those victims of trafficking are treated well and the uh, human rights standards are followed in attending them. Also, we work in partnership with other international organizations to make sure that um, we continue combating this problem. As we know, we can't do it alone. And let me quote what Colin Powell, the US former secretary of the state, made the uh, remark about trafficking. He said, I quote, in our 21st century world, where freedom and democracy are spread to every continent, it is appealing and moral, morally unacceptable that hundreds of thousands of men, women, and children are exploited, abused, and enslaved by pedo, peddlers in human misery. Trafficking touches many countries across the globe, including my own, and estimated 800,000 to 900,000 people are trafficked every year. Nearly 20,000 of these victims in, enter the United States. The transitional character of this crime means that countries of region, transit, and destination must work in partnership to prevent trafficking, protecting its victim, and prosecute those who are responsible for trafficking. In my conclusion, let's, let me say, Tanzania is moving forward uh, uh, towards the right direction in addressing trafficking despite the concern that its trafficking legislation has not been effective in curbing this uh, outrageous crime. The main concern is that there is much more to do, especially on the trafficking of women and girls who are being brought from the rural areas as domestic workers. So it is the responsibility of all stakeholders, including our Association of Women Judges uh, in Tanzania to ensure that the legislation of trafficking actual works. Tauja is ready to work with other partners to make this a reality. Thank you.